You are probably into tech stuff, right? And you'd like to know more about Tower Semiconductor Company? Stick to this video, and we are going to share with you a little more about Tower Semiconductor, where it came from, and what it does. Let's get right into the video. Tower Semiconductor Limited is an Israeli firm that produces integrated circuits employing advanced process technologies such as SIGO, by CMOS, SOI, Mixed Signal and RECMOS, CMOS Image Sensors, Non-Imaging Sensors, Power Management, Non-Volatile Memory, NVM, and MEMS. Tower Semiconductor also controls 51% of TPS Co., a joint venture between Nuvaton Technology Corporation Japan and Tower Semiconductor. On Semiconductor, Intel, Broadcom, Panasonic, Teledyne, Samsung, Skyworks Solutions, Semtech, and Vichy Siliconics are among the companies that produce specialty analog integrated circuits for them. In addition, the firm has a qualified open foundry silicon photonics platform, which is used by companies like Infi Corporation. Tower Semiconductor has seven manufacturing facilities, Fab 1 and Fab 2, 150mm and 200mm, in Migdal Hamek, Israel, Fab 3 and Fab 9, 200mm, in Newport Beach, California, and San Antonio, Texas, and TPS Co. in the Hakuriku region of Japan. Tower Semiconductor also has an international design center in Netanya, Israel. Tower Semiconductor is an Israeli public company that trades under the ticker TSEM on NASDAQ and the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange and is part of the TA35 Index and the TA Bluetech Index. With a year-over-year -year revenue increase of 70%, Tower Semiconductor became the top specialty foundry in 2010. So why did Intel buy Tower Semiconductor? Tower specialty technology portfolio, geographic reach, deep customer relationships, and services first operations will help Intel scale its foundry services and advance our goal of becoming a major global provider of foundry capacity, said Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger. In an era of unprecedented semiconductor demand, this deal will enable Intel to offer a compelling breadth of leading-edge nodes and differentiated specialty technologies on mature nodes, unlocking new opportunities for existing and future customers. Intel's IDM 2.0 approach was disclosed about a year ago. The approach necessitates the expansion of manufacturing and the use of Intel Foundry services. To satisfy its enormous worldwide client base, Intel plans to become a major provider of foundry capacity in the United States and Europe. Intel Foundry Services aspires to create a standalone foundry business that can not only serve Intel's needs, but also provide foundry services to other businesses. Radio frequency, power, CMOS image sensors, silicon germanium, and industrial sensors are just a few of the specialties in which Tower Semiconductor excels. Tower has also worked on IP and electronic design automation collaborations. Tower's existing foundry footprint will give extensive coverage to both Intel and Tower's customers internationally, according to Intel. Tower also caters to high-growth areas like as mobile, automotive, and power. Tower's foundry capabilities complement Intel's, and the deal opens up new growth potential in Texas, Israel, Italy, and Japan. Let us know in the comments what is the next company we should review?